Hey guys, we are back with the Jade Empire. So one of the things I'm going to do is go and change up my followers because I basically wait. It's about time. Yeah, I did get you. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um. So I'll swap up my followers. I guess I'll pick a good old guy here. Um. I think I actually like this job better than my last. One of the things you can get here is the Golden Tongue, which basically increases speech skills by 8, but that's a bit expensive. 100% to evade traps. That's actually not bad. I don't think there's anything too great here. That's okay, but it's ridiculously priced. Yeah, I think he's a lot more expensive than some of the other vendors, but you can actually buy a vial of sulfurous water. And this other fuel, so let's go buy that and go and right. I will be more used to you here than traipsing about away from my tool. Ah, god damn it. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to head back uh, to the camp to go back to the side quest area. Oh, got to load. I guess this must mean another conversation or something. I don't know. So it should be in here, as I recall. Gang, I need to talk to you. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Let's go there. Certainly. Yeah, I'll just skip that along. Right now, I can't remember if your fuel was gone. Yes, your fuel was gone, so you basically need to. Wait, I still have a bar. Huh. Okay. Well, anyway, if you put the the um, the vial in here, I did have the configuration of the dragon, I believe, somewhere. Um, isn't it under plot aims or something? I got ox and dragon. Um, I already did the horse one, so yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to go and start this. So I think I can get two of these with the uh, vial. So the first one is the dragon one, which needs these cogs and the uh, cauldron, I believe. It's unfortunate you cannot skip this. Uh, is it this one? Um, yeah, it's this one. Right, and activate this one as well. Okay, it didn't do that much. And hit the tiger button over here. And you get a mountain within. So, um. Let's go to techniques. A mountain within. Plus five body. Wow, okay. So, just a complete stat. Right, well, I got to turn these down. Now, for the other one I have. Okay. I can turn this down. Um, the hell. I thought I just turned it off. I'll just hit the reset button. That should work. Okay, so the other one I'm going to need um, the water wheel and the chimney. Yes, that's what I need. Okay, it, it skips the animation now. And then you hit the dragon button. It's kind of strange how you hit this one for the ox, but okay. Or not. Clearly, I have got this wrong. Intriguing place. I just got owned. God damn it. Am I forgetting this? Right, let me look at the thing again. Clearly, I got that one wrong. Unless I don't even have... It didn't seem to actually damage me. Didn't I already put a few... Oh, okay. So it has gone. Right, okay. So I'm going to have to need... I'm going to need another vial before I can do anything uh, else, I think. So, yeah. Okay, so at least I know that now. I'm ready to leave. Okay, so now we can actually get back to what we were doing. And Black Whirlwind's gonna tag along for this part. 
Uh, I think it's quicker just to go this way. The scourge associates with no The only problem in the Imperial City is deciding where to spend your silver first. Anyway, right, so up here you find the way to the Golden Way. <laughs> um, so yeah, you go through here. And we can start uh, heading down into uh, our region, sort of. Now, I don't believe there's anything... Wait, what's over here? Hold on there. This way leads... A necropolis, huh? Well, I'm not here to stop anybody. I just warned them. It's been a lot more dangerous in there recently. They say ghosts of the dead walk again. Huh. They couldn't pay me enough to go in there and put them down. The dead are best left alone. Okay. Thanks for the You're warning. Still going in there, just watch your back. Okay, it looks like he's not going to do too much, but uh, I don't want to go there right now. Let's keep going along here. Beggar song. Right. Ah, oh, there we go. <clears throat> your parentage is below average, and your ancestry is of questionable worth. You dress yourself in the manner of a common laborer. Nobody's paying any attention. Keep trying, just as I instructed. What? Your physique seems exceptional. Clearly you are a peasant. A noble could afford sloth. <laughs> um, he's not, his insults are not that great. The wind of an ox. Your last meal was of suspect quality. Cheers. Uh, you can't really get points either way, but, uh, yeah. Your beliefs are superficial, and your culture is substandard. The hell are you trying to do? The hell? You are right to demand an explanation. Forgive my servant. I instructed him to find someone not distracted by mere insults. Someone who would command respect. Your demand for justification of his arguments was admirable. You are exactly what we need. Um, why? <laughs> An outlander strolled into the city several days ago and now sits like a cormorant taking what he wants from the river of our hospitality. I should he care. He balks at our attempts to calm him and answers requests for payment with strange coins of questionable value. He needs to go. Go where? Uh. <clears throat> yeah, I'll just say that. The Outlander is not a dignitary or traveling merchant. He is a parody of civilized behavior. He spews insults at the Emperor himself. So far, he has escaped the notice of any higher officials. Perhaps he was mistaken for an actor in a troupe. But that will not last. Uh huh. If he is reported, the Lotus Assassins will take notice. They'll want to know if he was harbored or his offense was encouraged. Guilt by association is enough for them. Oh, let's we'll see if we can talk to this outlander That's what's so guy. Infuriating. He doesn't respond to reason. He proposes challenges we don't understand and then declares himself the winner. Huh. Several of our brightest have faced him, but as soon as they get the better of him, he sets off his strange firework and says they are beaten. Normally, the peasants like it when we intellectuals are maligned, but they tire of his presence too. Getting rid of this nuisance will endear you to many. Well, um, I guess, I guess we'll see what I hope happens. Your ability matches your conviction. Several others have fallen short, despite their outrage at his antics. He is in the scholar's garden, and no amount of opposition has moved him. Please, well, that's where I we're going anyway. To be a worthy opponent. So, uh, yeah, I mean as well. Right, uh, there's a there's a little uh, scroll stand here. You know, you get all, quite a lot of XP from those. Okay, who are you? Never mind then. 17 only. I can't go through this door. 
Okay, so we're gonna head up to um, the garden now. Sign. Hostel. Um, I don't think we need to go in here. Let me go check. Oh, jar. Oh, well, free. Yeah, okay, I can't open this right now as I thought. Can I break this? No. Okay, we keep going up then. This place from. Ah, oh, oops. Okay. Okay, that's a script stand. Might be important. And this should be the Scholar's Garden, yes. Not even gonna talk to the guard, just gonna walk in. And to be doing come uh, face to face with this bitch. I didn't expect you in your strange training to make it to the Imperial City. You are proving to be a very interesting person. Of course I could tell that just by looking at you. You have a very strong presence. Yeah, who the hell are you going to be? As the Heavenly Lily, I am above suspicion, but I am restrained by fawning servants. Silk Fox can go anywhere, and people are not shy about their reactions. There is a thrill, of course, and it allows me to find information useful to us both. Death's Hand brought your master Lee to the palace a few days ago. I saw the flyer. He was bound in chains. He must be powerful, or you are. There was something familiar about him as well. Um. Well, I guess we do reveal reveal the truth then. Why would you say that? Is that what he told you? I'm sorry, but I simply cannot believe that your master Lee is. Oh the well then. Strategist. Fine. Jeez. Sun Lee died twenty years ago. Everyone was told that he and Prince Kin, the third brother, fell defending the empire. Now, it seems they may have been traitors. I discovered this looking through records for information on Death's Hand. Perhaps he tried to influence Sun Li and Sun Kin before corrupting my father. But it doesn't matter who your master is. I could take you to the palace, but Death's Hand controls what my father hears. He must be discredited for you to succeed. Well, oh god. Death Hand. Um, right. Death's Hand has almost total control over my father. We must find conclusive evidence of his crimes and reveal his corruption. And I know how. Okay. Construction on the wall has stopped for the first time in generations. The workers now toil in factories building powerful creatures of stone and clay called golems. Death's Hand could use these automatons to seize the Empire, and my father is oblivious. We must infiltrate the Lotus Assassins and find evidence of this treachery. Okay, that sounds pretty dangerous, but uh, how do we infiltrate them then? We need proof of Death's Hand's intent from the seat of his power, the Lotus Assassin Fortress. It would be impossible to assault, so just walk in. They are recruiting. Ha. Huh. That's... that's something. Have any Lotus Assassins who saw your face live to report back? I doubt it. They will not recognize you as the person who fought them in Tien's Landing. Hmm. They have a vague description full of guesswork that has guards holding people at random. Besides, they expect an attack, not someone trying to catch their eye. I would wager that you may profit from their tasks too. Can you see the beauty in using their own methods of recruitment to fight them? I think they deserve it. I think you're a little crazy, but uh, what are we gonna do? There are guilds within the Lotus Assassins. Executioners look for fearsome warriors. Inquisitors are more subversive, and they look for cunning in their agents. So there's actually two ways you can if do you this. If you prove yourself in the arena, they will notice you. Like My so. people can spread rumors of your interest. The executioner will take a real interest when you finish the silver round. So, you can do the arena. Or if you prefer, the Inquisitor recruiter is also seeking new people. He might be open to persuasion. So, you just need to do both, although I believe you can do um, uh, them both and profit more from Death's that, hand rules as I recall. Assassins, so I take special interest in their activities. I've had most of my life to ask questions. So, if you want to get the uh, most experience... Motives, you have no reason to doubt Oh god. If I wanted the Lotus Assassins to find you, I could simply tell them... You can name. do that. Um... 
I guess I'll talk about the arena because yes, I'm, I'm going to do that. People spread rumors of your interest. Once you pass the silver round, the executioner will take an interest. I'm sure he will find you as impressive as I do. Now I believe. Or if you prefer, uh, court the inquisitor. Ask scholar Dong Gao in the scholar's garden about him. I hear Dong Gao is closer to the assassins than he should be. Oh, okay. I will wait at your flyer, or I could travel with you. Before you get too lost, perhaps. Oops. Um, I skipped that part. Damn it, my damn it, mouse. Um. I'll keep a uh, good old um, whirlwind do it here. I look forward to it. For now, cause I am trying to use a few more of the uh, followers. But I did gain a follower, so um, that's good. We got another one. Yeah. Longsword support. You deal extra damage martial styles. That's actually pretty handy. Now, is there anything over here? Oops. Yes, if you walk around for a bit, I think the, these two guards well, will attack you. Have here. There's no princess to save you this time. What? Do you think we'd forget? You can't humiliate us and just walk away. Oh, the, these two. We'll teach you to insult a guard of the Imperial City. Oh, jeez, guys. Now, here's my new sword. Looks pretty badass. So, uh, yeah. It's fun getting the upgrades for the sword. And I just... I'm on fire. Okay. So, uh, here we can see a little uh, whirlwind here. He's not really little. You'll notice he does barely any damage, honestly, past... Um, past uh, when you get him. He can be quite useful when you get him, but after that he's just not very useful. So, I'm sorry man, but I'm gonna have to get rid Anything of you. Anything is better than waiting around in the camp. Okay, so you can come with me. Right, now... Is there anything over here? Book stand. Okay. Isn't there something here? Alright, apparently not. Okay. Now, I'm looking for the scholar, dude. This gets you configuration of the snake. There he is. So Welcome talk to this friend. guy. The lecture won't be starting for a little while, though your enthusiasm is appreciated. I wouldn't worry about seating. Those interfering philosophers had made sure that very few people will be attending the lecture. So, just say the first thing here, I'm pretty sure. What? <gasps> That's quite, quite a question. I'm not sure who told you, but I'd appreciate it if you would keep your voice down when asking those kinds of questions. Hmm. Nobody here suspects me to be anything but an overzealous scholar, and I'd like to keep it that way. So you want to know about the recruiter? You have a flying machine, do you not? Yes, I know about that. Go back to the landing area and someone will meet you there. Okay. Tell, tell the guy I'll be there. He already knows, I'm sure. Now go, and I will not speak to you about this any further. And off he goes. Your course is set. The Inquisitor will be waiting at your camp. Appease him, and you'll be on the road to appeasing me. Okay, bitch. Um. Okay, score, dude. Just hide over there. Philosopher, huh? To attain peace, harmony, and balance is to discover true wealth. Okay. Um, what the hell is that? Okay, it's all like philosophical bullshit and... <laughs> no. Right, we're in the uh, uh, big area here. Now... I think you go either left or through the center to reach the, um... Oh, level up. Got it just about in time as well. So, uh, I need some more health. So I'll put some points in there. I honestly have not upgraded anything else, right? Storm Dragon, I've heard, is pretty good, so let's put some points in there. That'll do. So, yeah. Uh, score Zenyu. Philosopher. Philosopher. There's also a book stand right there, so I'm going to go and get that before I head over. 
I did actually read this, didn't I? Wait, did I get a journal for something there? Uh, the Outlander, yes, okay. Uh, we'll put you in support. Not that I think it matters. Couple of book stands here. There's probably an R1 over there somewhere, but uh, for now, we go over here. <laughs> as amusing as your savage dances are, once again I have proven the superiority of setting your nose to the grindstone and not mucking about. Now bring some refreshments in a proper mug, or I'll take back the coins of my home and country. Don't you heathens know the worth of a proper king's halfpenny? Uh, generous visitor. If our customs are so displeasing to you, perhaps you should find lodging elsewhere? Please? And leave you lot to your primitive ways? Tell them what I think of that, Squire Percival. Sir Roderick Ponce von Fontelbottom, the magnificent bastard, will do no such thing. He means to educate you all. Good lad. Okay. I've been waiting in the mud, planting weeds. You can't keep your crackers crisp doing that. God help you if you don't know the horror of a soggy biscuit. I've given him dignity, and unless one of you has the will to deny that I'm your better, I suggest you start learning. We'll have you in proper trousers by the morrow. If you don't uh, recognize it, this guy's voice acted by John Cleese, which is a bit strange. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, we're going to have to challenge this uh, guy. Someone's stepping to the fore. Let's have a look at you. Bet you will. Ah, you look quick with your fists, but I'll wager your head falls behind. Too much time slapping each other, and not enough time strapped to a desk in a decent classroom. Uh-huh. You've the got a piece of cheese on your fucking shirt. I bested every one of you who has come forward, whether in tests of wit or combat. You faced a champion of king and country. Now, I didn't ask to land here, but if a storm is going to cast my ship into the very heart of such a dark empire, I'll bring the light of knowledge wherever I can. Okay. You must hunger for guidance. You're like children. I mean, only a handful of you could even grow a decent moustache. What kind of place is this? Uh, okay. Well, we're going to have to challenge this guy. Can you now? Shall we put that to a test? I welcome the chance that you might impress me with a glimmer of intelligent insight. But I will acknowledge that I am likely to disagree just because I know you are, uh, lacking. We will need educated men to judge the merits of our arguments. Okay. Well, looks like a debate is what we're up for here. I've gone to great pains to learn your barbaric tongue, only to find that none of you has much to say. Can you convince me otherwise? I've heard a distinct lack of couplets and quatrains to say nothing of pentameters. Is it any wonder you people live as you do? I charge you with defending the heart of your people. If a group of judges determines that you have adequately done so, I will declare you the winner. At least he's fair, right? Right? Uh, whoever you wish. These five standing here. I'm sure there will be a balance of opinion. The test must be fair. Go on, talk to them all to prove I haven't coerced them. We'll begin the debate when you're ready. Then we'll see how you fare in combat. Doubt you'll do very well. Like the rest, you're all just too damn skinny. I don't know about that one. Hey, look, it's this dude. I heard you accept the Outlander's challenge. I'm grateful you have seen fit to defend us all. I would be honored to sit in judgment of the debate. Several of my fellow scholars have also volunteered. Well, just, ju <laughs> just agree with everything, I say. To do otherwise would only help the Outlander win in the long run. 
If he wants a true debate, we will allow it to progress fairly. Okay. Of course, I doubt his arguments will have the weight that he expects. Not here in the heart of the Jade Empire. Well, I'll get ready for the debate. I wish you luck. I look forward to your defense of the no, Empire. No, I, I believe you have to impress the five judges. And I'm going to save right now because I think um, that it can um, screw up the game sometimes after this, I think. So yeah, you've got to impress the judges in a debate. 